Hello children, I am back again with the second part of the lesson. 7. Mothers of the Wild Children, you have enjoyed the story of wild mothers in the first part of the lesson 7. You have understood how animal mothers take care and protect their little babies in different ways and how the mothers of the wild teach their little babies life skills in order to survive. So children, you are welcome to the second part of the lesson 7, Mothers of the Wild. In this part, we will learn the exercise of the lesson and grammar lesson number 5 about gentle from your grammar book. So let us start with the exercise of the lesson. Understanding the text. A. Tick the correct words and phrases to complete these sentences. Children, there are fill in the blanks in this exercise. And two options are also given for that fill in the blanks. You have to tick the correct words or phrases to complete these sentences. First one. A hair dash for her babies. What the hair do for her babies? Let us see that. A. Has a ready-made nursery. B. Makes a blanket of grass and fur. Which is the correct answer? Makes a blanket of grass and fur. B is the correct answer. Now second. A kangaroo holds a baby dash. How kangaroo holds a baby? A. In a special pouch in her body. B. With her teeth. Uh, what is the correct answer? A. In a special pouch in her body. 3. The dash gorilla watches over the babies from nearby. A. Mother. B. Father. Who watches over the babies from nearby? When their mothers are away. Who watches? B. Father. 4. A polar bear makes a cub room. Dash. By digging a tunnel in the snow. B. With leaves on a tree. How a polar bear makes a cub room? By digging a tunnel in the snow. 5. Baby seals and otters learn to swim dash. How baby seals and otters learn to swim? By paying attention to the way their mothers moved in water. B. On their own when their mothers forced them into the water. How? Baby seals and otters learn to swim. B is the correct answer. On their own when their mothers force them into the water. Now six. A mother bear dash when she moves it to a safe place. What mother bear do when she moves it to a safe place? First one. A. Holds her baby's head in her mouth. Gently and firmly. B. Pretends to pounce on her baby and chases her baby. Which is the correct answer? A. Holds her baby's head in her mouth gently and firmly. Now B. Choose the correct answer. This text tells us how animal mothers. A. Teach their babies to find food. B. Protect their babies from danger. C. Let their babies look after one another. Which is the correct answer? P is the correct answer. Protect their babies from danger. Children, before moving to our next exercise, we will once again revise about kinds of sentences. And we will learn about positive and negative sentences. Do you remember how many kinds of sentences are there? Yes, there are four kinds of sentences. What are they? 
declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, exclamatory sentence and imperative sentence. These are the four kinds of sentences you have already learned in the previous session. Children, let's revise what are these sentences. First one, declarative sentence. Declarative sentence is a statement sentence. It tells something and ends with a full stop. Declarative sentence tells something and ends with a full stop. Second one, interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence is a question sentence and it asks a question and ends with a question mark. Now third one, exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence shows strong feelings and it ends with an exclamation mark. What is an exclamatory sentence? Exclamatory sentence shows strong feeling and with an exclamation mark. Fourth, imperative sentence. Imperative sentence gives a command, order or request and ends with a period or an exclamation mark. There is a small task for you children. You have to write 5-5 five, five examples for all these four kinds of sentences in your rough copy. Now we will learn about positive and negative sentences. Children, declarative sentence or statement sentence can be positive sentence or negative sentence. Declarative sentences that have positive meanings are also called affirmative sentences. Affirmative or positive sentence. A sentence which states positive facts are called affirmative or positive sentence. Children, these type of sentences are the most common used sentences. And they are used to make statements and they can be used to state a fact or opinion. And they always ends in full stop. Now let us have the examples. He is a good student. She likes painting. He always comes late. These all sentences are very simple sentences. So children, there is a small task for you. You have to write five positive sentences in your rough copy. Now let us move to next slide. Negative sentence. A sentence that expresses negative ideas are called negative sentence. Children, these sentences are negative by nature. These sentences have no, not or never in them. Now let us have the examples. He is not a good teacher. She does not like paintings. He never comes late. All these sentences are negative sentences because in these sentences not and never are used. Now, how to change positive sentence into negative sentence? We can do this by adding no or not to the sentence. First one, the students are talking loudly. This is a positive sentence. So, how can we change this positive sentence into negative? We can change this positive sentence into negative by adding not to the positive sentence. Let us see the negative sentence. The students are not talking loudly. Now, second, there is a mango in the fridge. Now, let us see the negative sentence. There is no mango in the fridge. Fridge. In the negative sentence, what is used the? No is used. Now, third one. It is raining. How can we change into negative sentence? It is not raining. Not is used to change this positive sentence into negative. Now, fourth. 
there is a girl in the class how can we change into a negative there is no girl in the class now children i hope you have understood what is a positive sentence and what is a negative sentence now there is a small homework for you you have to write five negative sentences in your rough copy children let us revise once again positive sentences they are positive by nature and these sentences do not have any negative words like no or not in them now for example children like to play i am going i am a boy i am a girl i like playing cricket all these are positive sentences now negative sentences they are negative by nature these sentences have negative words like no or not in them for example children do not like to play i am not going i am not a boy i am not a girl now we will learn where we have to use the word some or any we can use some and any with countable and uncountable nouns children you have already learnt about countable and uncountable nouns in the previous session now tell me what are countable nouns countable nouns are that nouns which can be counted for example boy boys girl girls pen pens etc now tell me what are uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are that nouns which cannot be counted for example oil water milk all these are uncountable nouns now let us have the examples some friends some boys any cats any water some money any food some and any are used with countable and uncountable nouns is it clear children now let us move to next slide we can use some for positive sentences you have already learned about positive sentences what are positive sentences simple sentences are called positive sentences these sentences are positive by nature now let us have the examples i have some water he has some brothers they have some money she has some cats you have some friends all these sentences are positive sentences so we can use some for positive sentences now any we can use any for negative sentences you have already learned about negative sentences in negative sentences no not or never are used now let us have the examples i don't have any water he doesn't have any brothers they don't have any money she doesn't have any cats you don't have any friends now children i think it is clear to you uh, some is used with positive sentences and any is used with negative sentences we also use any for interrogative sentences you have learnt about interrogative sentences in the previous session what are interrogative sentences Question sentences are called interrogative sentences. Now let us have the example. Do I have any water? Does he have any brothers? Do they have any money? Does she have any cats? Do you have any friends? Children, let us do the exercise of the lesson. 
A. Complete these sentences with some or any. First one. Would you like something to eat? Yes, I would like some rice, please. Here, this sentence is a positive sentence. So, some is used for this positive sentence. Second, you look very thirsty. I haven't had dash water since morning. Here, the word haven't gives a negative meaning. So, it's a negative sentence. So, any is used for this sentence. Now, third. Why don't you ask Anita to help you? She can't help me. She doesn't have dash time. Here, what's the answer? Any. Because can't and doesn't give negative meaning. So, it's a negative sentence. Now, fourth one. Where is Akash? He's late. Let us wait for dash more time. He's sure to come. Children, in this sentence, we use some because it's a positive sentence. Now, five. I am looking for the biscuits. I think there is dash in the packet on the top shelf. Here, this sentence also is a positive sentence. So, some is used. Now, six. I need to buy a bus ticket. Do you have five rupees? I am sorry, I don't have dash money with me. Here, don't gives negative meaning. So, it's a negative sentence. So, any is used. Now, children, let us learn the uses of quantifiers. What are the quantifiers here? Much, many, lots of, a lot of, a few, a little. These all quantifiers indicate amounts or qualities. Much, many, a lot of are used for large quantities. A few, a little are used for small quantities. Much. How much milk do you want? I don't have much time left. I need to go. Much is used with uncountable nouns. Mainly in interrogative and negative sentences. Much is used with uncountable nouns and mainly in interrogative and negative sentences. Many. How many flowers do you need? There aren't many oranges left. Many is used with plural countable nouns. Mainly in interrogative and negative sentences. A little. They had a little money left. So they went out for a meal. They save a little money every week. A little is used with uncountable nouns. Usually in affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences means positive sentences. Now children, let us revise once again about it. Much, many, a lot of are used for large quantities. A few, a little are used for small quantities. Children, much is used with uncountable nouns. Mainly in negative sentences and interrogative sentences. Many is used with plural countable nouns mainly in negative sentences and interrogative sentences. A few is used with plural countable nouns usually in affirmative sentences that means positive sentences. A little is used with uncountable nouns usually in affirmative sentences. Now, children, let us do the exercise of the lesson. There isn't dash furniture in the house, but we can use mats. This is a negative sentence, so any is used. There isn't any furniture in the house, but we can use mats. Now, third, I don't have dash candles, just two or three. We should get some more. Children, this is a negative sentence. 
and the word candles is a plural countable noun so many is used i don't have many candles just two or three we should get some more four it rained for dash days and there was water every verb children it's also a positive sentence a many can be used with positive sentence also so many it rained for many days and there was water every verb now five let's hurry up we don't have dash time here this sentence is a negative sentence much is used with mostly negative sentences and interrogative sentences so let us hurry up we don't have much time now six he was here for only dash minutes he was in a great hurry here children this sentence is a positive sentence and the word minutes is a plural countable noun a few is used for this sentence because a few is used for small amount and the word minutes is used for small duration children before moving to a next exercise we will revise about adverb what is an adverb adverb adds meaning to a verb an adjective or another adverb what is an adverb children that means an adverb is a word used to tell more about a verb an adjective or another adverb it almost always answer the questions how how often when where the actions are performed for example how easily how the action is performed easily happily loudly quickly quietly reluctantly sadly silently slowly how often always every day frequently never often once seldom sometimes twice when the action is performed after already before early now since soon today yesterday where the action is performed away everywhere here home inside near outside southward the children these are some of the adverbs children most adverbs are formed by adding ly to the adjectives look at here beautiful slow bad happy noisy easy are some of the adjectives we can form adverbs by adding ly to these adjectives now let us do the exercise of the lesson a match the words in column a with the correct ly words in column b then write them as shown here are two columns children in the first column a column action words are given here then in the b column there are adverbs so we have to match these action words with these adverbs dance gracefully see clearly tie firmly write neatly sing sweetly laugh merrily now children join these a and b columns and write like this dance gracefully see clearly tie firmly write neatly sing sweetly now children these words became phrases by adding two words together these phrases we have to use in next exercise complete these sentences using the correct phrases from exercise a first one we like to hear anna sing because she can 
sing sweetly. Now second, Ashish could dash after he began using his new spectacles. See clearly. Three, the children learned to dash moving their arms like trees. Dance gracefully. Now fourth one, your handwriting is not clear. Please write neatly. Fourth one, your handwriting is not clear. Please write neatly. Now children, before moving to our grammar part, there is a small homework for you. Find information about any five animal mothers and write five lines on each of them. What is the homework? Find information about any five animal mothers and write five lines on each of them. So children, let us now learn about gender from your grammar book. What is gender? Gender is a category of a noun. What is gender children? Gender is a category of a noun. There are four types of gender. Masculine gender, feminine gender, neuter gender or common gender. Gender is a system of differentiating nouns and pronouns as masculine, feminine, neuter or common. Children, a noun that denotes a male is called masculine gender. Men, boys and male animals are of masculine gender. For example, boy, man, brother, cock, bull, lion. Some more examples are God, Emperor, Actor, Waiter, Tiger, Governor, Master, Duke. What are the some more examples? God, Emperor, Actor, Waiter, Tiger, Governor, Master, Duke. Children, a noun that denotes a female is said to be feminine gender. Women, girls and female animals are of the feminine gender. For example, girl, women, sister, hen, cow, lioness. Some more example we can see in the next slide. Goddess, empress, actress, waitress, tigress, governess, mistress, duchess. What are the some more examples for feminine gender? Goddess, empress, actress, waitress, tigress, governess, mistress, duchess. Now common gender. A noun that denotes either a male or female is said to be in common gender. What is a common gender? A noun that denotes either a male or female is said to be common gender. A noun that can refer to both male and female is of the common gender. For example, parent, child, friend, servant, cousin. Parent, parent can be a male or female. Child, child can be a male or female. Friend, friend also can be a male or female. Same way, servant and cousin are also can be a males or females. Some more examples are Servant, enemy, orphan, infant, baby, eagle, child, student, friend, applicant. Children, neuter, gender. A noun that denotes a thing that is neither male nor female is said to be neuter, gender. A noun that denotes a thing that is neither male nor female is said to be neuter gender. A noun that refers to a thing that is neither male nor female is of the neuter gender. For example, pen, room, book, chair, tree. 
all these are neuter gentle more examples for neuter gentle are hospital school knife chair cave floor phone fire pen stick now let us do the exercise from the book complete the table with words from the box here are some words given in the box they are opposite gender we have to complete the table with these words first one washer man what is the opposite gender of the washer man washer man washer woman b tigress what is the opposite gender of tigress children tiger now c fox vixen bachelor spinster monk nun duck drink drawn b cow bull nephew niece bridegroom bride now children let us see the completed table in the next slide first one washerman washer woman tiger tigress fox vixen bachelor spinster monk nun drake duck drawn b bull cow nephew niece bridegroom bride now children next exercise is a homework for you find 10 nouns of the common gender in the word grid this is the word grid you have to find 10 common gender in this word grid now children let us do the next exercise write m for masculine f for feminine or c for common gender against each of the words a horse horse is a masculine gender so you have to write m b p hen p hen is a feminine gender so you have to write f wizard wizard is a masculine gender so you have to write m visitor visitor is a common gender Uh, it can be male or female so you have to write c e aunt aunt is a feminine gender so you have to write f brother brother is a masculine gender so you have to write m g sister in law sister in law is a feminine gender so you have to write f duke duke is a masculine gender so you have to write m head mistress is a feminine gender so you have to write f principal is a common gender uh, principal can be male or female so you have to write c pupil pupil is a common gender uh, pupil can be um, male uh, pupil can be male student here yeah, female student so you have to write c hen hen is a feminine gender so you have to write f do do is a feminine gender so you have to write f goose goose is a feminine gender you have to write f do is a feminine gender so you have to write f goose goose is a feminine gender so you have to write f now children there is a small homework for you write five five examples for masculine gender feminine gender common gender and neuter gender i hope children this lesson about gender is clear to you we will meet you soon with another video